blackfacts.com presents Caribbean Revolutionaries Nelly Robinson Dame Nellie Robinson, D.C., M.B.E., was an Antiguan teacher and school founder who was a pioneer in education. Georgiana Ellen Robinson was born on December 7, 1880, in St. John's on the island of Antigua in the West Indies to Margaret and George Robinson. She was sent to the United States to study in the American school system when she was 10. To further her education, Robinson enrolled in Coke Memorial College. Though it was a Methodist school and Robinson was Anglican, Koch allowed students of African heritage. When Koch closed, Robinson pursued education on her own, studying for her senior Cambridge examination with Mr. D. S. B. Jones. She passed her examination and furthered her studies, obtaining certificates in music and music theory with Mrs. Lamont. In 1898, when she was 18, Robinson opened the Thomas Oliver Robinson Memorial School for children of all races, classes, and faiths. Her doors were open to anyone desiring to improve their education and life. She established the first coeducational secondary school on the island, successfully challenging the officials which tried to close her school by claiming the teachers were unqualified and that the conditions were unsanitary. Even since slavery was abolished, British colonialism imposed class and race inequalities upon people of non-white backgrounds. When she was financially able, Robinson began funding scholarships for poor, black children. In 1915, during World War I, Robinson was the only black woman to serve on the Antiguan Mobilization Committee. Robinson recruited men to travel to Canada or Britain to enlist, but also lobbied for improvements in the living conditions for men being shipped overseas for service. In 1935, she was given a commemorative medal at the Silver Jubilee of King George V in recognition of her contributions to education, and in 1941 she was honored as a member of Order of the British Empire. In 1950, after having served over 60 years as headmistress of T.O.R. Memorial, Robinson retired, leaving the running of the school to Ina Loving. She continued to be active, encouraging participation in cultural activities, and in the 1950s supported the development of Antigua Carnival. Robinson died on April 29, 1972, in St. John's, and was buried at the St. John's Public Cemetery. In 1999, a panel organized by the Professional Organization of Women in Antigua reviewing outstanding contributions from women in Antigua and Barbuda, named Robinson as the Outstanding Woman of the Century. Learn more at blackfacts.com.